Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. So guys, as you know, this is my Red Runner Connolly and um, loads of Uthikas are actually on the on the ground. But unfortunately, none of them have hatched yet. So I've got no um, baby Red Runners. I've got plenty of males and females. Males have wings, which are just there. And that is an adult female, which are really, really dark. The sub-adults are like a reddish colour, like that. But you can see all the Uthikas, and there's absolutely hundreds of them all on the floor as well. But, um, yeah, they haven't hatched just yet, and I'm going to be feeding my baby assassin bugs today. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just pick out a few that's dying off, which they do die off, which is a shame. There's one just there, look. You can see that that one's dying off there, an adult female. And... Um, I'll get a couple of sub-adults as well, and I'll crush the heads, which I don't really like doing, but my baby assassin bugs desperately need feeding, so we'll take out the dead one just there, grab a couple of sub-adults sub and put them in the enclosure. So guys, as you know, this is my little tub for my assassin bugs, and they're all doing absolutely fantastic, they're all on the court bark just there so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lie that one down on the floor like that and you can see them all just there so I'm just going to get one of my red runner roaches and you can see that hopefully they will start to attack it They are looking fairly big now, the uh, assassin books. They don't seem that interested at the moment. But uh, hopefully we should get an attack. Let's just use my flashlight. There we go. And there we go, guys. Look at that. Unbelievable. You've got an assassin bug there, probably around about a centimetre, and that roach is over an inch. And it's actually attacking <laughs> attacking the roach. And this is why I crush the heads. And it's just easier for the uh, assassin bugs to grab their prey. And I can't wait until these are adults, which will look absolutely fantastic. I'll actually add these spiny assassin bugs before but they were actually adults they weren't um little babies but um yeah fantastic to see so you can see another assassin bug guys there so I'll just give it a little no i was going to give it a little touch towards the roach but um yeah none of them seem interested at the moment but what i'll do is i'll get some more roaches and put them in the enclosure And there we go, guys. Another one's attacked the roach. Same roach, guys. I haven't put another one in just yet. But it looks like the <laughs> they're having a little bit of a fight with it. And this might uh, attract the rest of the assassin bugs. And you can just see one on the left-hand side just up there. But they are moving that roach around. And it looks like they're all having... A little bit of a fight with it. But it's always nice to see uh, your animals eat. They actually use a needle, which is called a rostrum, and they actually paralyse their prey. And they can take down prey that's a lot bigger than themselves. There we go. That's a bit better. And then you've got another one now. You can see the third one's just grabbed its meal as well and there's another one there some of them have got really huge abdomens and some of them haven't their abdomens go like a reddish color which they are now and when they go like a really dark red that means they're going to molt but um yeah it's nice to have some assassin bugs back in the collection 
So I'll put another roach in there, guys. The roaches will move slightly, but uh, not enough to actually hurt the assassin bugs yet. There's another one's attacked it, and another one. Oh my life. It's like Saturday night in a pub. <laughs> So they're all having a nice feed, which is a fantastic sense. Just darken that down a little bit. I need to get myself a proper light, guys. Can't keep using this flashlight. It's uh, very annoying. If you do watch uh, Dave's Little Beasties, absolutely fantastic channel. He uses an actual light, which is on his table, a white one. So I'm still looking around for a decent light, guys. Looks like a table light, really. But uh, you can see one, two, three, four, about five of them having uh, having a feed. So, guys, you can see another assassin bug there. So I'm just going to put this roach just there, and hopefully it'll go towards it. Oh, I'll give it a, give it a little touch. Hopefully it will go towards its meal. Or it might just attack it when it's ready. But um, yeah. Everything's going to plan. Uh, that one's walked away. So let's just give it another little touch. What I do guys. I just spray the enclosure. So they can take a drink from the sides of the enclosure. I really want these ones to have a feed as well because their abdomen's looking a little bit small. Mm, I don't really seem interested at the moment, but I'll just grab it when it's ready. Let's just move this along. So let's just move this along, guys, and see how the rest are doing. Yeah, they're all having a feed, which is. Amazing to see, and I think I'll leave them alone, guys. I'll leave this one in on the left-hand side. It might uh, take down its meal when it's ready. But, um, yeah, always amazing to see your animals eat. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone.